smoking some good trees. <laughs> well, that's illegal here. Official diagnosis of sciatica. No. But like sciatica is one of those things like, I mean, what else could it be? You know, the nerve of some. Well, foodie, I have a couple of ideas what it could possibly be. But I think in order to really get a true diagnosis, you would need to get potentially an MRI or an X-ray or some other type of diagnostic test and actually have an assessment by a doctor because Dr. Google isn't going to give you the correct diagnosis, girl. But anyway, hi, everybody. This is Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe. And today we're actually going to be taking a look at her recent vlog. It is called Rainy Ramadan 2024 vlog and Muslim revert problems. So I'm actually going to leave this video at normal speed because I want to calculate how many seconds Foodie actually shows herself walking in this video. Uh, seems that each video where she's out in Kuwait or Canada or wherever she is, she is spending less and less time walking. Now, I am going to say in this video, though, I am glad she didn't spend too much time outside walking just because it was raining and I was highly concerned of a slip and a fall and what that could mean for foodie in the long run. So I get nervous, I have to say, every time she is out and about walking around. I wish she would just get a walking mat for that Kuwait condo and set up a YouTube video with a walking type step video and just start walking in place and getting some steps in and trying to build her strength up that way and changing the diet because th there's no amount of walking foodie that is going to counteract the amount of calories that you consume. Anyway, if you do like this type of content and reaction type videos and going live and joining into a community, uh, please do hit the subscribes make a like, make a comment, because YouTube loves the engagement. And before we actually play Foodie in full, I just want to get out some disclaimers here, because she can get, you know, unhappy and think that we're all just haters and after her, and she never puts trigger warnings. So I want to make sure that I put trigger warnings in my content, because Foodie can talk about a number of topics that may or may not be suitable for the general public. So anyway, I'm going to share her screen. We're going to take a look at this uh, rainy Ramadan vlog over here. Let me see where I am. Oh, I'm, I'm going to bring my down a little bit smaller since I'm podcast style. My nose is still in recovery mode. I had a surgery and so I am still seemingly even months out uh, recovering from it. So I am podcast mode until that is healed because I can't put anything on it. And I look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, just I mean, to be honest here. So let's just take a look. And like I said, I'm going to play her normal speed um, because I do want to see how much time she spends walking. But as I said, it is raining. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to another video. Hey there, Beezers. Want a personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe a special shout out? Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want answered. All you have to do is request a personalized video or direct message. Wait, sorry. Oh. Hey guys, so we're just gonna go out for a little bit. It's raining though. Um, so yeah, just gonna go for a ride, maybe a walk if the rain eases up. Yellow. Oh, this wow. is our lobby. Part of it, anyway. Back through there, there's the pool and a little gym. I like, I mean, the lobby's nice. Oh, what's all that on the side there? <laughs> Looks like they're doing some construction work. What is that? Bricks? I'm not sure. I'm interested. Oh, those little plants don't look too happy over there. Those are some sad looking plants in those pots. 
that one on the far right looks very unhappy. Very unhappy. <laughs> Somebody needs to tend to those. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I am surprised with all the clear, beautiful days that Foodie has had to get out and walk around and do things. She chooses to go out in the rain today. Of all days. I just, her planning is just always astounding for me. I mean, I'm obviously fascinated to see the streets of Kuwait in the rain, but, uh, I just, I'm just shocked. <laughs> it just doesn't seem practical. All right, carry on, girl. I'm going to time how many seconds you walk. I guess you walk to the lobby. Well, I'm waiting for Salah to go get the umbrella. <laughs> well, there is actually, and I'm sorry to interrupt Foodie here. There is some conversation around whether it was Salah had just been sent out and had potentially filmed a lot of the B-roll without Foodie in the car. So it's potentially at this time, Salau has been out and, uh, you know, he at some point he goes off and we think he does B-roll by himself because it seems that the driver is holding the camera and not the passenger, which would give indication that Foodie was not a passenger in the car at that time. So anyway, okay. Ooh. It doesn't rain often in Kuwait, but when it does, it's usually in the winter. Otherwise, in the summer, there's sandstorms. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Okay, one, two. <laughs> okay, so that what? Oh gosh. I'm going to say she walked for about five seconds coming down from the stairs. And that was sketchy looking. And she, I understand that she may use those filters that make her body look longer when she is out walking around outside. There is some type of filter that can be used to do that, to make you look slimmer and taller. And she doesn't look like that filter working. She is carrying a lot of, of truncal obesity. And that is very significant and indicative of her having type 2 diabetes. And one that is not well managed or well controlled. Because when you have excessive calories and you are not using it for energy and your pancreas is no longer functioning correctly, and the blood sugar is just rolling around in your bloodstream like fiberglass, causing havoc on your vessels, then you are going to have all sorts of other issues that are going to become apparent in your body. So, so far, we've seen Foodie walk for ooh, about five seconds. I don't know if I mentioned I'm a registered nurse. People get irritated, but I am. I am a healthcare professional here in the United States uh, with over 10 years of experience in the healthcare, specifically cardiac, oncology, long-term care, end-of-life care, that sort of thing, um, and have dealt with a lot of patients uh, managing diabetes or not, both. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. I guess I need to look at the ball down here and count. The world of okay. So it's that fun. again couldn't have been more than five seconds. So let's see. So she started walking at, okay, it was a little bit more. So, so far, start of walking. Okay. So she started walking at, let me see, 120. Oh, don't move around like that. I'm doing stuff, foodie. 26, 27. Okay, 28. So from, say, let me see from 27, and we're going to look at the timer and just count. I'm sorry to repeat. I just want to see how many seconds we get of actual walking without me interrupting. Storms. <laughs> The 
fields are flooded big time. Okay, so I would have estimated that went from a minute 28 roughly to a minute 52 with about a two second stop with when she was out with that umbrella there. So I'm going to put it to 150. So that's that was my generosity there. So the amount of walking we literally saw her do that was allowed where she looked like she was wanting to show that she was not having to hold on to stuff too much and look unstable ended up being 22 seconds. 22 seconds of walking. So, so far in this vlog, we have 22 seconds of walking. Okay, keep going, foodie. I know I'm being a little bit more particular this time, but I'm just curious. And she doesn't look good coming down the stairs. That looked precarious. Flooding is pretty common whenever there's heavy rainfall here in Kuwait. Let's see, this is where we think this may not be foodie at all. This is the flower because also I want you to notice the difference between the streets suddenly too. When the foodie was out, the streets were far more flooded. Like there was a deluge of rain. And that was rain that had collected over time. But yet we're here in this part, uh, connected on the B-roll, I guess. And it's nothing of the same amount of water. It's starting to look like. So this looks like either, this looks like earlier maybe being filmed. I don't know. They just, I lived when Mexico, I lived in a couple of areas that have suffered significant road flooding in rain. One is Mexico City. <laughs> So if anybody is familiar with Mexico City, I lived and drove in Mexico City. So I'm very familiar. I'm surprised I didn't lose an engine in the flood, but I have lost an engine in the flood here in Virginia Beach. And so when it, anytime I see any of these little cars that are, you know, sedan types, I get nervous that those tailpipes can get water very easily up into the exhaust and take an engine out because I've had that happen in a Jetta. So I'm just, you know, surprised that they'd want to risk the car or anything. It just seems just, why? Why today? Why today? Is it because you didn't think anybody would definitely be out in the rain? Is that why you went out in the rain? I just, it's just, it just seems very odd to do it when you have health issues, Foodie. I just wouldn't advise it. You could have slipped. This is a lot of, lot of flooded. Okay, somebody's holding with one hand. You need to find a find the thing that holds the phone. You want to do car? I don't like to film in a car unless I'm sitting in a parking lot. And that, there's children, I think, not very excited to see somebody sitting in a car. The buildings are pretty. I wish we could know what I'm looking at or what part of town I'm in. I, I really know nothing. I'm just looking at the signs. <laughs> I mean, what road is this? Where am I heading towards? I mean, I'm fascinated. Oh, there's a big old Wendy's there. My goodness. I'll, I'll do the, uh, okay, this is a big mall. She loves the mall. Obviously, he's just driving past the lounge. It's not stopping in the mall at all. Uh oh, little bump there. That's pretty. I like the colored fountain. That's nice. I wonder what type of. Right now, I'm going to break the pass oh. with a gate or a camera and some water. It's Miller. So, I wonder this one port that we saw driving up to the mall, if that was the only port that really was with foodie. <laughs> And then the other part, because it looks like there's more, the rain is heavier and there's more water on the streets. I think some of that other all she wasn't around for. I think he just filmed that on her own because she doesn't want to be out in this stuff too long. Um, I don't know. It looked weird because it was really raining when she came out. It's just strange looking. I don't know. I don't know. Conspiracies always with foodie. She's getting that little date in her water and breaking the fast. Okay, foodie.
And then you go off and have another thing about something else and, and rage off in one of your live streams. So, all right, girl. <laughs> Glad you're, I guess it's now officially sunset. Okay. All right. <laughs> My first bite. Mm. Oh, God. Girl. Seriously, you just threw the pit out on the ground. You couldn't have put it into a little napkin and then put it into a little thing to keep it in your car so you could dispose of that properly later. That's just nasty. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. Uh, especially after it's been rolled in your mouth. And you, you they don't have the, the pitted versions there. I, it's just, ugh. Just uh, the performative eating. <laughs> we had a whole discussion about this last night on the panel on the House of Hannibal last night. Check out his channel. Oh, those two. Mm. Gosh, I'm just going to say she looks pretty big in that seat. I mean, that seat is all the way back in the car. <laughs> it cannot go back another inch. And I think it's probably a small back seat, so it wouldn't be comfortable for her. So it's the only choice that she has is to sit, you know, shotgun next to Salau or whoever's driving. Oh, my goodness. Her hands look so swollen. Those knuckles are showing dark rings which we know are the sign of diabetes. People have talked about her fingernails looking clubbed nowadays, like showing signs of clubbing, which is a sign that you're not getting enough oxygen in your body. Um, and therefore you start to show the signs of clubbing um, in the fingernails. So that could be part of a potential problem with heart failure. And we know that obviously with somebody who's not exercising, who's the size, your heart is not going to be functioning the same way as somebody your same age or even older who weighs 400 pounds less than you, Fizzy, because you're topping over 500, girl. I think the fact that you're trying to tell people you're 370 pounds is just utter nonsense. I would think, and I've joked about, it's probably closer to 370 kilos. That's what that, that scale is showing. Kilograms, not pounds. I mean, I'm obviously, I, I know you show the pound thing, but I'm just saying it's not your weight. We don't really see you getting up on that scale. So it's just, you girl, I don't know why you try to gaslight your audience. We don't care. We talked about this last night. Like we're not going to change you. We don't care. We're just here to provide a platform so that other people know that how you behave, there's a lot of problems. And it's not something that we want other people to suddenly discover your channel because you use tags to bring certain types of audiences to your content. So we have to then use similar tags and then show that what you're doing is actually quite harmful. All right, continue, foodie. It's kind of raining pretty hard. It's not really the best weather to go for a nice walk. Wish I had a boat. <laughs> That'd be cool. Gosh. All right, let's go back. Sorry, she started walking. So I, I'm going to have to do my count. This is why we're playing her normal speed today. So we're going to go back to the core where she is just, she's just all optimum sitting there. Girl, it's not even the how you looked in the car in Canada. There's a distinct change. And then you're trying to tell your audience you've been trying to get the sciatica taken care of. Girl, you need to stop just lying to people too. Okay, it starts at 422. Okay, let's go, foodie. I guess 423 would be the official start time. And we're going to time the walk. She's got 22 seconds of walk time in this video so far. Oh my goodness. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Hello, guys. That was exactly 30 seconds because she took that to four minutes 53. So 30 seconds. So all together in this vlog that I have calculated, uh, and then we'll move up, up to normal speed now. She's just sitting. I mean, we'll speed her up to 1.5 now that she's sitting. I just wanted to see this walking part. Uh, she walked for a total of 52 seconds that I calculated. 52 seconds. So in a 14-minute 50 video of Rami Ramadan, the <laughs> booty gave us 52 seconds of walk time. <laughs> that is not going to burn the calories. And maybe you had a few more seconds in there getting in and, you know, getting in and out. <sighs> she maybe did five minutes of movement out of that apartment. I hit the most, maybe. Wow. That's wild. All right, continue. Oh, sorry. I was going to speed her up because she's too slow and this is a long part. And I don't really know much about the Muslim faith. I'm just going to preface this. So we're going to hear her just gripe on for uh, about 10 minutes. I'm going to have some water and talk to you guys about a subject while I take off my makeup. Mm. Oh. You want to say hi for the people? Hi. Oh, my goodness, girl. All right. So everybody is going to say brush your cat. So I'm just going to throw it out there. Brush your cat. Just because you know the cat's going to appear on camera. It only affecting Julia because the mats can actually start to really tangle and they can start to pull on the skin and then cause sores and lesions on your cat's skin. So you either care about your cat and you can take five seconds out of your extremely busy day and give it a little bit of a groom or you don't have a cat. It's one of the two. I have to go take my dog out in the minute. He's looking at me like she hates hearing your voice and she wants to go for a walk. Anyway. <laughs> oh, to remove my makeup, I'm using these Annabelle oil-free eye remover pads, which are great. Don't mind my squeaky chair. And my other contention is, is why do we have your cat's buttocks in your face, girl? That is like where you eat your food too. So training and encouraging the cat to be in the same spot where you consume your food is just not really good. I just, I just think that's not good hygienically, but you are not a very hygienic person. Goodness me, go food, eh? Cat butt. I'm fat, so in case you haven't noticed. All right, now I want to talk to you guys about um, Islam. I'm going to revert. Um, I took my Shahada last September. Alhamdulillah. Now, one thing I noticed since becoming a revert is... Um, the community can be very judgmental. I used to be Catholic, okay? And as a Catholic Christian, I literally never, ever had. Okay. Foodie, well, because when you were a Catholic, you weren't coming out trying to say you were converted to Catholicism and that you were going to be working to be this uh, specific type of Catholic housewife. <laughs> You just weren't trying to throw that out there. So everybody knew that though you were born in the Catholic faith, you were pretty loose with your Catholicism. Nobody questioned that. But you also, I don't believe, made your religion a part of your content. Now you have your banner on your page of your channel specifying things about your religion. So you have now asked people to react to it. And so I would recommend that you are very well versed in your topic or you read about it ahead of time or you're very cautious and careful about how you speak about things because you are already a target. So people are going to find every little thing that you are doing wrong. So I don't, you are making these dramas yourself. And specifically to bring views to your channel. It's just, it's, it's, it's all, it's all play. It's, it's all, it's, you know. All right, continue, Foodie. I, like I said, I don't know much about the faith, but I do understand, you know, Foodie and her issues that she does not take care of in uh, her mental health 
uh, that she really should address. And that's all I'm going to say. Had anyone, even like I was a public figure, right? I never had anyone, Christian or Catholic, preach to me about the rules of Catholicism and how I'm being a bad Christian or something like that. But now as a revert, I find that the community, the Muslim community online especially, can be very judgmental. I get all the time people coming for me, like Islam police, like, wee, 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 that's a siren. Anyway, things like the Haram police, you know, saying things like, um, I don't know, just commenting on like makeup. I see it happen to other people too. Like, you know, your hijab is not fully covering or this and that. Um, you shouldn't be saying this. You shouldn't be smoking shisha. You know, you should be eating with the left hand. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. Um, so I, w I, okay. I'm more interested in her hands uh, from a cardiac standpoint. <laughs> As I said, I am not somebody who can speak to the Muslim faith. So I am not going to even do that because I've only had friends who are those in that faith. And uh, I don't even want to shame them with, you know, how little I understood at the time. Okay. Um, goodness me, foodie. You are very, just, there's a lot. I'm trying to see with those fingernails. Oh, maybe that middle fingernail is starting to show signs of clubbing. Oh, uh, yeah. The one in the her middle, her middle finger, it looks like part of the fingernail. I don't know if you can see my pointer here. That to me is showing some signs of the clubbing. Um, sometimes that could be uh, nutritional deficits too. It's hard to say because she uses so many filters that I wonder if it would also hide anything that we could correctly see um, in her nails. But it, that's something to start to look for um, for videos. It's fingernail clubbing. Uh, that would give an idea of how much, you know, oxygen her body is receiving because it's going to show up on the fingernails if you're not getting um, good oxygenation. And that would show signs that potentially her CPAP is not working effectively for her at night because she doesn't clean it regularly she do, uh, daily i should just preface she doesn't you know she's been away it's probably been a while since she's replaced any of the hoses and tubing or any of the bits and pieces that go along with the product and had a manufacturer look at it to make sure it's still working correctly it's probably been a while so you need to maintain these uh equipment in order to ensure they work correctly. And then she's got the dark rings starting up around the knuckles. Okay, girl. And swollen. Swollen swollen edematous hands. Well, I just want to say, go easy on, on people. Like, not just that. Like, let people observe their religion, worship how they want to, and, like, at their own pace. Like, mm -hmm. a person who's reverted, like, a year, year and a half ago, even, like, a few years ago, is not the same as somebody who's born into it. Okay? Um... It's not up to somebody to judge someone because that's between them and Allah. Not it's not between me and other sisters and brothers. It's up to between me and Allah. Okay. Um, Unfortunately, Fude, you are going to have to be the first person. I think I say this every time I react to model this behavior. But that if you were actually modeling that behavior you may have to actually create some content to come to your channel with other than rage because that's all it it's so it's kind of tiring because your rages aren't even very ragey anymore and you are not coming with content so you are the one that creates this drama by yourself you we just get to react to it because it is public and you make it part of your personality of your channel if you don't want that to be something that people comment on, then you need to remove that totally from your channel's personality. And I don't see you doing that. So you're going to have to learn to better deal with the criticism you will be receiving continuously because it ain't going to stop, as they say here in the States. Because I would never say the word ain't. It is not going to stop. Because you know what? Yeah, I still have trouble with a lot of things. Um, music being one of them. You know, it's frowned upon to listen to music in Islam. Well, I'm having, I'm struggling with that part of it. Um, I'm struggling with a lot of things, makeup, stuff like that, you know, smoking, shisha once in a while, things that are frowned upon. But that's between me and Allah. And the one thing you have to remember is what makes 
a Muslim, a, a Kafir is a non-believer, is somebody who doesn't pray at all, you know, or makes no effort. Um, even that is between that person and Allah. So a person who smokes shisha is still a Muslim in Allah's eyes. A person who wears makeup is still a Muslim. A person who um, drinks. Hey, uh, Fuji, I'm just going to say this as a uh, cardiac RN. I don't care uh muslim or not as far as whether the shisha should be smoked you shouldn't be smoking shisha regardless you're not a healthy person and that is just gonna actually add to an increased risk for a cardiovascular event so all it is is more plaque in your arteries around your, your heart girl so i mean if you want to keep smoking that shisha go ahead but i'm just gonna let you know it is gonna be damaging to your heart not that you care because you don't care if you take out every part of your body. And it's not our responsibility if you do. So if your reaction to people is going to be, well, I'm going to continue doing this because I get to do this, go ahead, sweetheart. The only person who gets hurt at the end of the day is you smoking that crap. Go ahead. Take your lungs out too. I mean, COPD. Why don't we add that to the mix? I mean, you got asthma already. If you're supposedly asthmatic, what the hell are you doing smoking shisha? You're just a born idiot, aren't you? Goodness me, girl. Carry on. Even it's still a Muslim. I don't drink, but people who smoke weed, it's still a Muslim. You know, maybe lost or off the path, but it's still, but they're still Muslim. And you can't judge somebody's journey, you know, just by watching one of their videos. You don't know what they're struggling with. Um, there's a lot of reverts who haven't even... Unfortunately, Foodie, you don't have just one video. You have, like, many multiple videos showing your complete ignorance that you've displayed in regards to the Muslim faith. And it's to the point where it is not even fair to those who do practice the faith because you do such a bad job of representing it as well. And this is supposed to be a holy month. You just don't seem to understand any of it. And if it was truly important to you, you would be respecting that. But this is where people can tell. It doesn't mean anything to you at the end of the day. Because you're out here having to do this as your content in order to hopefully get some views. And your views are dismal, girl. They're dismal. You've also limited your comments. So the number of comments that you receive are few. I get more comments on my less seen videos on other creators that are you know on my tiny tiny micro channel girl you should be embarrassed Guns carry on they carry on they're comfortable the most important thing as a new muslim or as a muslim is to pray and repent so i'm just tired of like being judged you know um i'm not perfect but i do believe in god and well you know what I have a really good recommendation. If you don't wish to be judged, get off of YouTube. Get off. Go. Go be the little, you know, uh, you know, home housemaker or whatever in Kuwait with Salau and off of YouTube. Then you won't get any criticism. Because, girl, it's never going to stop. So I just get over it. Over it. I think there's even more reaction channels every day. So, I mean, uh, your content's boring. So we add in other characters because it's more spicy you got no side characters you got nothing fun you're, you're very boring you're just boring and this this you've labored you lied about having a sciatica which i knew i've said right from the start it was a lie and a scam and i held true to that and i haven't finished with that so don't you keep on going with that lie girl because i'm not done with you on that one and you took a lot of money from your audience for that. And that I find despicable. No, I love God. I'm just, I sometimes struggle with um, certain aspects of the religion. And that I'm, I'm learning on my own. You know, I'm doing a lot of, like, I do research on it, um, read what it says in the Quran. Um, but there's a lot of different things that I still struggle with. And I'm still learning on my own. And that's my journey. It's my right to do that. So you know, before rushing here, the Islam police, I don't need your sirens, okay? I got this on my own. And I, this is addressing like fellow sisters or other reverts, like, you know, who just make, like, it's almost a deterrent to the religion from people being so judgmental in that community. You know, it's it's, it's overwhelming. And, and so, I mean, I'm not even addressing my critics on YouTube are not even religious, most of them.
Oh, girl. You're burying yourself further, I think, on purpose. Jesus. <laughs> I, am I watching you bury the channel every day, Miriam? Because this is a this is a full-on burial to your channel. You are offending about anybody and everybody you can think to offend. Uh, you have some a few hardcore audience members, which I am surprised. They must just know you are a pathological liar and you are just going to lie about everything. And they must be comfortable with the lies. There are always people like that. They're going to think that the rest of us are, you know, terrible human beings. And in order to supposedly react against us reactors, they support you. Sometimes I think it has little to do with you, girl. It has more to the, due to the fact that you receive so much criticism. And it's because you come out with nonsense like this. Keep going. Girl, you're not making your case very strong. Think about it. Again, you always say you come out, you do things, and you don't think about it ahead of time. This, again, is giving me that vibe. <laughs> them or Muslim, and they come for me with the Islam police. I don't even care what they say. They look like clowns. Um, they look like clowns judging a Muslim person when they know nothing about it. So, And they're not even Muslim whatsoever. <laughs> so, But the fellow sisters like who get judged, especially... You using the word clown is not the type of language. I mean, just all of this it just is, is, is giving fuel to the fire. You just don't seemingly can engage that into your brain. But I think you do. And it's all for play because you need the views, because you need to make money, because your channel, as I said, is tanking. This is all you got. And people are going to keep correcting you. So have fun. Get over it. Reverts, we get judged hard, right? Because we're like laughed at. I feel like we get ridiculed more from the, the Muslim community, especially online. And I've gotten some of that criticism and I've seen a lot of it too. And I myself have been judgmental sometimes. Like when I see somebody wearing tight clothing and I'm thinking that's not how it's supposed to be. But then I like, I catch myself and I think I don't like being judged. I don't, that's not my journey. I'm not the one to judge. I'm not God. I'm not Allah. That's between him and all the other Muslims. This whole entire video is showing how much you judge people. So <laughs> just again, read the room and how you're saying things because you're saying you don't do something as you're doing it okay just 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 be aware and it, for the rest of us it's hilarious because <laughs> we're listening to this grown woman just get herself in a worse situation so you know i can't wait to see what the next rage is going to be supposedly through this holy month because goodness me girl just you know gosh this is, is this the joy that you're going to bring to the season? My goodness. You know, that's up to them. So um, people also have different, people also have different ways of interpreting a religion, you know? So me, I just mostly am continuing to read the Quran and learning a lot that way uh, about the religion. And I, I realized maybe I should have done that a lot before actually taking the Shahada. But for me, it was like, they ask you basically, like before reverting, do you believe... This is almost giving me supposedly glitters, you know, running before finding out if she really was able to run. I would have hoped, but we know you didn't, that you would have spent a little bit more time in the pursuit of understanding the religion that you were about to revert to prior to you having done so. That would be usually a more intelligent course of action to make sure it's a, it is the right fit and you did anything but that so nobody's shocked nobody's surprised you went into it blind as a bat blind as a, de a diabetic with retinopathy i should say because <laughs> that's as blind as you're going to be soon girl unless you go to an optician or an ophthalmologist what are the two? Sorry, an ophthalmologist. You need to go see the, the, the optical doctor. <laughs> Girl. Mm. Anyway, continue. But you are just mm, out there and wild. Okay. Believe in that there's one God. Yes, I can take that off. I do. Do you believe that um, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his, is his messenger and slave? And I do. Because personally for me, and don't, this is just 
my belief, everyone has their own, and you can believe what you want. I believe in the Islam, the the Muslim. I believe in the the. I believe the Muslim belief that Jesus was a prophet and he did perform miracles um, given to him by God. But I don't believe that God has a son or had a son. And I don't believe that Jesus was God. So that to me, those two things meant that I could take the Shahada. But beyond that, there's a lot to learn about it, you know, and that's what I'm doing after, after the fact. So um, I'm just saying, you know, Muslim community, just think about that with reverts, how it can be overwhelming and I mean, you you explained what you're supposed to understand, but girl, you struggled through that explanation. I was like having to listen because I, you know, I'm a Christian, I guess. Very lax practicing Church of England. <laughs> and I was confirmed in the church, by the way. So I was supposed to be a little bit even more understanding. Now, I've had actually a lot of Bible studies, but uh, girl just you know why you know i would have rehearsed that a few times before i would have known to come out to say it especially when you're trying to debunk the audience but continue you know we have a right to our own journey our own beliefs we don't ha owe anything to anybody we have the right to believe what we want worship how we want show it how we want and if you're doing something that you think is better than another muslim good for you um you know i would say just keep that to yourself and that's between you and allah and you know it's not like i'm doing anything super immoral or bad and um yeah i'm sorry beauty you're not the muslim police as you you know so you don't get to have the say either as to who can put what content out there just stop the nonsense on that girl stop the madness that, that you need to stop that now because that is not even something that you even get to have a say on so you either get to sit back quietly and you're gonna have to pray on that maybe this is a good month to sit and pray and think about this but that's not what you're doing you're out here putting out terrible content walking for 52 seconds on a video going out in the rain where you could have really slipped fall and given yourself a herniated disc and really giving yourself a case of sciatica girl do you ever think about that hell no goodness one more minute left and my dog wants to go out she's she wants to take a walk it's a beautiful day and i want to get outside too it's it's islam is about a relationship between you and and allah that's it not not about you know judging other muslims you know so yeah that's just my thought on the whole community how it can be a bit judgmental sometimes is that which community are you talking about which community are you hating on now foodie you need to clarify are you hating on girl world are you hating on the whole religion now? A community of Muslims? Seriously? A religion you just reverted yourself into? <laughs> now you're going to have them? Are you going to make them your enemies now? Girl, you are getting wild out here. I think you really do need to seriously uh, consider how you approach this at this point. Because you really could seriously upset some people. So I think that you so, and I, I'm going to tell you this from like pretty much an agnostic over here. Okay. I'm pretty agnostic. I, I've had times when I have had more faith and certainly times when I've had less. And I have spent time in study as an adult with churches trying to understand if the Bible has any real truth in it. You know, I I have sat and studied and I came away and felt that I may believe that Jesus was genuinely somebody uh, uh, that people have noted throughout history multiple times. So I do believe Jesus really was a, a real person. How much of these stories are true around his miracles and so forth that I am not sure of. I think there were a lot of natural phenomenons at that time that may be attributed to some of the things that were written in the Bible. Um, so, you know, I always, but I have been somebody who's tried to take a, take a, an educated examination. I went for weeks to a group and spent time listening to pastors, talking, listening to scriptures examining scriptures, 
talking with other Christians in like group settings to discuss topics that we had very adult conversations in. And that is how you approach into a faith. Even one that I have been brought up since childhood in, I've still had to go back and have times. And at the moment, I'm kind of agnostic. I'll be honest. So I think that you need to be somebody who is displaying a little bit more caution when you come out and start making these statements because you are about to upset a lot of people, girl. I'm just letting you know. No wonder you're going to be hiding in that fart box in Kuwait. As compared to what I'm used to. And uh, there's some rules that I have a hard time with, I have to say. Um, I know they're in place for um, our own good. So, you know, Alhamdulillah. So, you know, inshallah, someday I will get it. But there's some things that I still struggle with. And I think I'm, you know, allow that patience, you know, just like Allah's patient with us as we're learning. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to say. Just talk about a religion. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Well, Fiddy, you're such a good person, yo. All right, let me get rid of her real quick because she's going to start playing on in the background again. So I apologize for that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get this video wrapped up because I do want to get my dog out. But, uh, oh, my goodness. So she's, like, going to have a whole community not liking her too much now. I wonder if it's going to move her subscriber number down any further because she's been sitting at 101,000 for quite some time now. Um, so, yeah. Mm, girl. I can promise you, I would have, you know, maybe even gotten like a book for, you know, how to approach this holy month a little bit more prayerfully than what you're doing at the moment. And as I said, this is coming from an agnostic, okay? But I am an agnostic who has tried to study faith. And like I said, I've spent far more time like weeks I spent like every Sunday I went to this thing in the evening and it went for like weeks ago. It was like five or six weeks, maybe more. And I went every time I didn't miss one session. So that's what I'm saying. You haven't even given your faith that and you're new to your faith and I'm old to my faith and I still give it time. Like I said, but I'm an agnostic. I don't know. Anyway, <sighs> foodie, any, you are going to get yourself in trouble. <laughs> All right, guys, I blabbered. If you do like this type of content and you did to make it to the end of my video, I do like to see the little emojis. So this time I am going to ask for the emoji to be rain. Since it was rainy in Kuwait, you like rain. Give me rain. Rain or an umbrella. One of the two, you know, like rain, umbrella. One of those for the emoji at the end. All right, guys. I'm. If you did like it, hit the subscribes. Make sure you like, uh, comment. Come back and see us again. And. Uh...